Welcome back to the M5 Stack Workshop Series. In this series, we will be using M5 Stack to build something. We will first look at what M5 Stack is capable of. This video is about how can we use the built-in display on the M5 Stack. We are going to recreate the bouncing DVD logo on our M5 Stack. Do you know that there's a hidden Easter egg about this in Google? Try typing these related search terms. Your Google logo will start bouncing. To be able to create this on our M5 stack, we will first need to know how to display something on the M5 stack LCD. We will be referring to the official M5 stack library documentation from the GitHub link here. For the sake of simplicity, we will be using a circle instead of the DVD logo. We will first need to know how to display a circle where we want on the screen. The built-in TFT LCD display on the M5 stack is 320 by 240, with the upper left corner of the screen as the origin. We can use this function to display a circle on the LCD by defining the position on the center, radius of the circle, and color. Let's try to display the circle in the center of the LCD. With this simple line of code, we are able to display a circle on the LCD. Next, to move the circle, we will need to update the position of the circle during each loop. We can do that by adding a number in every loop with this line of code. Notice that the circle starts moving in one direction and moves out of the LCD. To make it bounce back when hitting the wall, we can multiply the speed by negative 1 to make it move in the other direction when it reaches the wall. Notice that I offset the position by R, which is the radius of the circle, to ensure it bounces back when the sides hit the wall. Now we have a ball bouncing inside the display. Finally to change the color randomly when it hit the wall, we could add this code. We can also add some delay in each loop to slow down the movement of the ball. That's all for this video. Please let us know what you would like us to build in the comment section down below. See you in the next video.